Good morning, guys. It is Monday, and it is a nasty, gloomy, rainy day outside. Let me show you what I got in the shop uh, from about Wednesday to Friday last week, and let's see what I can get done today. I still haven't cleaned up my room in the back where I keep everything needing to be fixed, so uh, until then, I'm sticking them here in the floor, and as you can tell, it is blower season. I've <laughs> got all these backpack blowers in in the last few business days, and uh, hopefully I can knock them all out today. A few things I have sitting on my bench from Friday. I got this Husqvarna chainsaw and this Husqvarna chop saw. I do not like working on chop saws, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Now this one, it runs, but it runs like crap. And it's probably, let me see if I can get you in there. It's cause it's sort of burned up. Yeah, it's, it's not totally burned up. It still has compression, but yeah, it's got a little bit of scoring in there. So most I can do with this one is see if I can adjust it out a little bit so you can get you know a little bit more life out of it, but it's on its way out. This one is constantly flooding out. If you can see, there's a puddle of gas here in the air filter base. So I'm going to have to go through the carburetor and probably put a kit in on this one. So I got this one adjusted out and I think it's gonna live to saw another day. Super flooded. It's a geyser. Next, get this air filter poured out. Disassemble the carburetor. And throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, so while I got the carburetor soaking on the Husqvarna chop saw, I move on to another one. Checked out one of my commercial guys, and this thing is scary, you know. They don't take care of their stuff, but, you know, they, they just bring it here, and that's fine. But this thing had some issues. The uh, valves were not set correctly. They were way off. We had to pry the uh, spark plug out because look at all that rust. It is super rusty up in there. This was the plug I took out of it. I don't even know about that right there, but so, and the coil was set at like 70,000. So I don't even know what that was about. So I'm just getting into this one and see if I can get her going. Oh, I did just realize though, I'm out of gaskets. So this one's not gonna be finished today. So even though I'm not gonna be able to call the customer today to pick it up, I wanted to go ahead and throw this blower back together with the broken gasket just to see if it was gonna run okay. And it does, but I still gotta wait on the gasket to uh, finish it up. Got the carburetor put back together for the chop saw, but unfortunately I do not get the money shot and let y'all see it run because I pulled on this thing probably 50 times and the muffler is so flooded it will not start and I don't really want to pull the muffler off today so I'm gonna let it sit for a while and see if it dries out. So while I'm doing this, customers stop in constantly, I gotta help them. This customer brought in a rewind, rewind's fixed. Now it's time for some lunch. Leaving for vacation in 10 days, so gotta eat light. And salad it is. I'm walking back across the street. 
picked up another one that a customer had said had been sitting and it would not start. Check the gas and it was old. Poured it out, put some fresh gas in, started right up, but it does need a gas cap because it was completely broken and that bad boy is $30. Customer brought in this almost brand new looking Poulan backpack blower. It looked like it had barely been used and it was full to the max with gas. Said it would not start, that it had been running but would not start. So I go out and try it. After I pull it about 15 times, I give up and decide I'm going to have to dump out this entire full tank of true fuel and see if my gas will get it going. Lo and behold, even with a gallant effort of pulling many, many, many times because it was so flooded, it never started. So that means I got to dig deeper. the carburetor off to find that even with 140 pounds of compression and it looking brand new this one fooled me and it is completely toasted it has up and down scoring all through the piston and cylinder this thing's dead and then every day i leave the shop at 245 to go pick my son up He's in eighth grade, and that takes about 30 minutes because, you know, Chicanic's still got to be a mom. And then we always get those ones that come in from the commercial guys that say it runs for a while and then dies. This bad boy ran for 30 minutes and never died. The ones that have sporadic problems are always the hardest to fix. Customer brought in his steel MS311, said it leaked fuel and would not start. Well, it sure does leak fuel. That gas cap is leaking bad. These are terrible gas caps. Steel really needs to figure it out. New gas cap, fix the leak. So, after I uh, changed the cap out, it's would not start when I went to go check running. I put a plug in it. It was super, super flooded. Everything looks wet everywhere. So I'm going to pull the muffler off, make sure it's not completely full of gasoline. And let's see. Yeah. It's got a lot of gas in it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to blow it out because even after pouring it, it's still got a puddle down in there. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it moving in there. Full of gasoline. Let's check the cylinder though. It looks pretty beautiful. All right, got this one all put back together and totally unflooded after it was super flooded. Let's see how she runs. Pops off. left in my floor at the end of the day. I've got the uh, Husqvarna that needs a gas cap. It's like $30. Yikes. I got the um, chainsaw y'all just saw running. I've got the backpack blower that needs the overhead valve gasket. I got this one that I did not get to yet because the customer brought in his own short block and that's going to be a fun one. I got the blower that just kept running and never died. I got one here. 
that I did not get to just yet. That generator's mine. Those are two generators that customers need to pick up. I got this blower that um, haven't got to yet, and one more chop saw. So, sort of clear, but uh, it never ends. Lock up. Ready to go home. Well, it's not over just yet because one of our buddies called us as we were closing and driving out of the parking lot and said he wanted to deliver two more mowers and he, we're just getting done with him. So that took another 30 minutes. So now I'm on my way home. <laughs>